Lesson 44 from A Course in Miracles. God is the light in which I see. Today we are continuing the idea for yesterday, adding another dimension to it. You cannot see in darkness. And you can not make light. You can make darkness and then think you see in it, but life but light reflects life and is therefore an aspect of creation. Creation and darkness cannot coexist, but light and life must go together, being but different aspects of creation. In order to see, one must recognize that light is within, not without. You do not see outside yourself, nor is the equipment for seeing outside. An essential part of this equipment is the light that makes seeing possible. It is with you always, making vision possible in every circumstance. Today we are going to attempt to reach the light. For, the, for, this, for that purpose, we will use a form of practice which you, we have suggested once before and will utilize increasingly. It is a particularly difficult form for the undisciplined mind because it represents a major goal of mind training. It embodies precisely what the untrained mind lacks. Yet the training must be accomplished if you are to see. Have at least three practice periods today, lasting, each lasting three to five minutes. Longer is highly recommended, but only if you find the time merely slipping by with little or no sense of strain. The form of exercise we will use is the most natural and easy one in the world for the trained mind, just as it seems to be the most unnatural and difficult for the untrained mind. Your mind is no longer wholly untrained. You are quite ready to learn the form of exercise we will use today, but you may find that you will encounter strong resistance. The reason is very simple. While you practice in this form, you leave behind everything you now believe and all the thoughts which you have made up. Properly speaking, this is the release from hell. Perceived through the ego's eyes, it is a loss of identity and a descent into hell. If you can stand aside from the ego by ever so little, you will have no difficulty in recognizing that its opposition and fear are meaningless. You might find it helpful to remind yourself from time to time that to reach the light is to escape from darkness. Whatever you may believe to be to the contrary, God is the light in which you see. You are attempting to reach him. Begin the practice period today by repeating today's idea with your eyes open and then close them slowly, repeating the idea several times more. Then try to sink into your mind, letting go of every kind of interference and intrusion by quietly sinking past it. Your mind cannot be stopped in this unless you choose to stop it. It is merely taking its natural course. Try to observe your passing thoughts without involvement and slip quietly by them. While no particular form of approach is advocated, what is needful is a sense of importance of what you are doing, its inestimable value to you, and an awareness that you are attempting something very holy. Salvation is your happiest accomplishment. It is also the only one that has any meaning because it is the only one that has any use to you at all. If resistance arises in any form, pause long enough to repeat today's idea, keeping your eyes closed, until you are aware of fear. In that case, you will probably find it more assuring to open your eyes briefly. Try, however, to return to the exercises as soon as possible. If you are doing them correctly, you should experience some sense of relaxation and even a sense of approaching, if not actually entering into light. Try to think of light, formless and without limit, as you pass by the thoughts of the world and do not forget that they cannot hold you to the world unless you give them the power to do so. Throughout the day, repeat the idea often with eyes open or closed as seems better at the time. Do not forget, above all, be determined not to forget today. God is the light in which I see. Let's see what Magdalene has to say.
Greetings, beloveds. Real light grants real perception. And true perception allows you to see past the illusions of the mind, the clouds, the shadows, that which causes you to believe that you exist in a world that is not safe, a world that is filled with destruction and madness. But as you allow yourself and as you determine yourself and as you commit yourself to see the light, you will indeed accomplish this for you possess the will of God. And the will of God is accomplished with each thought with each notion, with each word, with each sound, with each action. If you know that God is truly the light in which you see, and you commit yourself to being able to see as God sees, you will indeed find the light. Most are unconscious. Most have allowed themselves to surrender to a default, which allows them to see shadow allows them to see chaos, allows them to see madness. But beloveds, as you diligently bring yourself to silence, four or five minutes, as you allow the thoughts to come by, to roll by, to float by like the clouds in the sky. And then when you notice that there is a space in between, there you will find the light. And in that light, you will find the truth. And in that truth, you will find God. Commit yourself to seeing today, beloveds. Commit yourself to seeing the light. Allow this truth to develop. Allow this to become your reality. Pause long enough. And as frequently as you allow yourself to remind you that God is indeed the light in which you see you will have a realization, beloveds. You will have a day of reckoning, a moment in which you see that all that you have ever perceived to be as anything other than God was indeed manufactured within the egoic mind that said, let me see what it is like to create as God creates. However, the element that was missing, the secret sauce, the special ingredient, was that in order to see as God sees, in order to see with the light through which God sees, one must always see and perceive through the eyes of love. So it is love that is that secret ingredient, that magic ingredient, that special spice. As you allow yourself to see through the light in which God exists, you see as God sees, and in that you see the holiness within all beings. Mostly you see that holiness within yourself. And you will not allow yourself to see any other way. It is much like putting on glasses that allow you to see the way that God sees. And the glasses cause everything else to clear. Allow yourself to put your God glasses on today, beloveds. And notice that the clouds will part, the illusion will fade, darkness recedes, and only light is revealed. The light and the love and the truth that you and all of creation are. For to love as God loves, and to see as God sees, and to think as God thinks, and to feel as God feels, is to live within the majesty and the bounty that the creator has provided for all. So allow yourself to waken beloveds from the illusion, from the dream, from the state in which you have fallen, fallen into believing that life should be any other way than the way that it is. Allow yourself to look and see the beauty in all things. Allow yourself to understand that each step that you take brings you closer to truth, closer to love, closer to light, closer to God. 
closer to the truth of you, which is love. Knowing that God is the light in which you see provides you with the freedom that is extraordinary, beloved ones. For when you think that you are seeing something that causes you pain, all you need to do is say, God is the light in which I see and your vision is corrected. Reach out today, beloveds, with your mind, with your will, with your intention and with your hearts to allow yourself to see that God is indeed the light in which you see. And as you attune yourself to that frequency, as you dial into that moment of creation, all that you see will be magnificent. All that you see will indeed be beautiful to your eyes, to your senses. The voice that you hear, the sound that you hear, the words that you hear will indeed be that that is in concert with the Holy Spirit, in concert with God. So let the mental chatter fall away today, beloveds. Seek out with your mind to truly think as God and to see as God. And when that is your intention, you will indeed have the light revealed to you, beloved ones. The light and the love and the truth that is God is the light, the love and the truth that is the very essence and presence of your own beingness. Allow yourself to see God in the reflection of all that you gaze upon. Most importantly, the reflection of your own beingness. Practice today, beloveds. Be vigilant. Allow yourselves to see the truth. All blessings upon you, beloveds. And we will speak with you again. <laughs> Marianne just said that she wants those God glasses. Lesson 44, God is the light in which I see. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.